Read me out the plastic I've been acting right now. Yeah, Brandon. I mean, I just love the little Lux touches you give us. It shows that not only are you an excellent designer, but you are also a consumer. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have not one, but two Brandon Blackwood Autumn Winter Collection 23 handbag unboxing. So if you guys would like to see what I got from his latest collection, please keep watching. Okay guys, I am so excited for this video. So if you are new here, please like, comment, and subscribe. I love sharing all my fabulous finds. Fashion, handbags, luxury, makeup, fragrance, skincare, literally everything. I love everything and that's my problem. But if you enjoy the video, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of my unboxing and I will also link the other videos I have done featuring Brandon Blackwood products down below. So let's talk about how we got to this space because Brandon Blackwood is a designer who has been on high alert on my radar for probably almost a year now. Um, and it's because of social media, mainly because of Lavishly Chi Chi here on YouTube. I will link her page down below. Every time Brandon Blackwood comes out with a new collection, she does a collection overview and I always find something I want. So shout out to her. Yeah, these purchases are because of her so I do have a few other Brandon Blackwood handbags and what I can say is that besides him being just amazing creative person a designer also love that he's Chinese Jamaican we you know we love a little Asian and black heritage his pieces are stunning the quality and craftsmanship is a one I always say his bags could be at least three to four times the current retail price. Now, I'm not saying that Brendan should do that. Please keep your prices as they are. But I love that there are designers who give us quality, who give us substantial, beautiful works of art without having us break the bank. Now, if you are no stranger to my channel, I love a little luxury handbag, but... The quality of the major luxury retail uh, handbags is just decreasing and decreasing. So I love that I have found a designer who makes quality pieces that I can appreciate that are different. So let's get to this unboxing. I'm so excited. I don't know which one this is. <laughs> um, now, one thing I will say is that this current autumn winter 23 collection didn't have too many pieces I was drawn to, but this is the one that jumped out at me because you guys know I love classic elegance with a little touch of pizzazz. So as with all Brandon Blackwood pieces, they come in a shiny white cardboard box. And on the side, you do have a little sticker which tells you the name of the bag, the finish and all that jazz. Let's open her up. Okay, let me move her so I can show you. One of the best parts of the Brandon Blackwood experience is that Baby, he gives you a packaging experience. Not only are these boxes really substantial and great for saving, if you like displaying them in your closet or on your vanity, but they are also padded. So they keep your bag protected during transportation and it's always fitted to the bag. So I really appreciate just those little details. I know some people may not care, but that means a lot to me. And the dust bag looks like this. This is a super, super, super high quality canvas drawstring dust bag. Yeah, Brandon, I mean, I just love the little Lux touches you give us. It shows that not only are you an excellent designer, but you are also a consumer because I'm sure you've received uh, inferior quality dust bags from handbags that you've probably paid upwards of like $7,000. So I appreciate this. With your purchase, you also get this little envelope which has a card that just says, thank you for your purchase, love BB. That's always a nice touch. So the bag that I got, First, let me get the name because I forgot. <laughs> okay, the first bag is the Long Evening Bag. This is <sighs> the standout piece in the collection for me, this beautiful clutch. Now this is in a gorgeous oil slick leather, so it almost feels like patent leather. I don't know if it technically is patent leather. I'd have to look online. Uh, and of course, I will put all the dimensions of this product down below. But when I saw this on Lavishly Chi Chi's video, 
I ran to the site. And if you know anything about me, it's really hard for me to pull the trigger, the proverbial trigger. I don't have to sit with my purchases. I'm not an impulse buyer. So I sat with this baby in my cart and probably like almost a week later, I decided to pull the trigger. But what I love is that you can wear the clutch like this, handheld of course. But this piece also extends upward so you can carry it like a little handbag. And you guys know like, you know how I wear my pearls and my, you know, Southern Belle pageant curls. I just love a classic elegant piece. This clutch is so stunning. I love the detail so I just want to walk you around this clutch. This handle is made of leather but there's some type of pliable metal inside that allows you to kind of contort it to I guess however you'd like to carry it. So if you press it down all the way it will stay. I like that. That's just a nice touch because it makes this clutch a little more versatile so I really enjoy that. You have Brandon Blackwood in the front embossed. And then on the side, this clutch is adorned with gold hardware. Now they did come out with this clutch in gold, silver, black, oil slick leather, and then like a snakeskin. <sighs> I really wanted the snakeskin so badly, but the price kind of deterred me and you'll see why in a moment. But I love that this is adorned with gold hardware. I just think black and gold complement each other so well. And for the clasp, you have kind of like a button closure, but it's almost like the old school kiss lock. So you lean it to one side and there you can open your clutch. And I have taken this out to dinner, so I do have some things inside. Let me just take them out. So inside this bag is lined in suede. It is the softest, most sumptuous suede. This is the one I'm talking about. Brandon Blackwood pays attention to design quality. He pays attention to the little things that handbag lovers like myself notice because a lot of people would just put a canvas interior, but this suede is so soft and it just gives it a more elevated feel. And can you believe this bag is only $215? Like I could see Celine or YSL selling something like this for upwards of 2,500. That's what I'm saying. Brandon Blackwood's pieces are such high quality. They're crafted so well. The integrity, I, I mean, I'm just stunned. So inside the bag, you have two interior slip pockets on the front side of the bag. You could put a card in there. You could put a valet stub, anything like that. But they are flat pockets, so you can't fit too much. You wouldn't be able to fit a lipstick. But on the reverse side, you have a little leather tab that has Brandon Blackwood, New York, embossed and in gold. And then you have a zip pocket, which could fit a lipstick um, if you have slim car keys it could fit in the back but it's a little more secure than just having your pieces in the clutch now what i like about this is the gusseted sides i mean it just looks so beautiful and elegant i just love those little pieces the hardware goes all the way through the side and you can see it peeking out at the bottom now what i will say is this is it's actually a great size clutch but you can't fit too much um i was out with someone and they asked me to put their phone in my bag as well <sighs> Y'all know how these men are. Men need to carry bags or something because there's no there's no room in this inn, okay? So you can really well fit a regular phone. I have an iPhone 11. No, it's not new, but you can fit any standard phone, but you can't fit two. So I would say all of my nightly essentials fit in this clutch. My car keys, card holder, but you could also put your cards in these spaces in the front. A lipstick, a mirror, hand sanitizer, a mini lotion all the essentials. You can't fit like sunglasses. You're not gonna be able to fit a compact wallet. I don't think anything like that, but this is an evening out bag, a statement bag for me or a dinner bag. So I wouldn't really be looking to carry too, too much in it. Now, what I will say, uh, if you were watching <laughs> something happen, and this is exactly like the Kendrick trunk, if you're not careful, you will close the bag with the gusset sticking out and it makes it a little harder to close because it makes it too wide. So just be sure when you're closing this clutch that you ensure that the gussets on the side are tucked in because that will allow you to get the best, most secure close. I love this clutch so much, you all. It's just, it is just fabulous, elegant, chic, perfection. I mean, this baby is stunning. So stunning <laughs> that I had to buy her 
Again, can you guess which other color I got? This is a lot for me because I typically just go everything black, 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 but I decided to go a little bit outside of my comfort zone. And I haven't worn this baby, so we will do a proper unboxing. Can you guess what color? You're never gonna be able to guess. Y'all, I got gold. Who am I? She is so beautiful. So let's rip her out the plastic. <laughs> I wanted to do this on camera with you guys because I just love sharing with you all. So everything is the same as the black bag. I do believe this is oil slick leather once again. I love that this is such a deep like mirrored gold. If you're a Louis Vuitton collector or you've been admiring Louis Vuitton for decades, there was this collection called the Louis Vuitton mirror collection, I believe. And this is what it reminds me of. It's just so shiny, the oil slick leather. Let me get the rest of this plastic off. Read me out the plastic, I've been acting brand new. Am I gonna be able to get it? Uh -huh. So it does come with plastic protecting all of the hardware, even the feet on the bottom, and I'll probably just leave those on until I decide to carry it. But this bag is just like the black. So you open it, you have the same type of kiss lock. I'm not even sure what it's exactly called, but this is what the bag looks like straight out of the package. You do have, I think, just some information about the leather and how to care for it. You have your silica gel. Basically everything with the black bag is the same for the gold. And this is just so different for me, y'all. I've never owned a bag that's so flashy just because it's so bright. But you know, y'all know I like to wear all black everything. This is just gonna be perfect for the holiday season coming up. But honestly, you could wear this all year round and I for sure will. Once again, I love how the strap can be worn up, but it is fixed in place but you can always snap it down and wear it as a true clutch. You can wear it under your arm. I love this so much. Now, I did kind of want the silver, but that was first to sell out. I think because like everyone's on this silver kick right now because of the very, very famous Jacquemus silver bag that everyone is loving. But I just thought gold would be a little more classic and yeah, even though I don't wear gold jewelry at all, I just really like the way gold and black look together. So yeah, guys, I will put information about these two clutches down below if you want to check them out. Hopefully they are still available. I know when I purchased these, the silver was the only one that was sold out. These are just so fabulous. I'm so, so satisfied with my purchase. Since I have worn this once, I don't really have any cons. Maybe if you guys would like to see an updated review, I will give you one, but my first impression is that it's an easy to carry really nice elegant clutch yeah no complaints the only uh, thing that I would be mindful of is that you close it and don't have the fabric on the outside because it makes it hard to close but other than that don't overstuff it it's elegant it's beautiful it's perfect Brandon Blackwood just he just gets it. So once again, thank you so much, Brandon Blackwood, for creating just amazing high quality pieces. I respect you so much as a designer and I can tell that you are a consumer of luxury as well because the pieces and the small details mean so much to people like myself who really love those things. I hope you guys enjoyed this double unboxing. Let me know what you guys think of my new clutches. Did you pick up anything from the Autumn Winter 23 collection? If you did, let me know down below. Ha! <sighs> I'm ready for the holiday season. I can't wait to break out these babies. You will definitely see them on social media. Leave me any of your comments or questions down below. I love you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.